All right, uh, yeah, not the result we wanted, obviously. Um, just a little timid, just came out on our heels. Um, you know, a couple early uh, threes by ice uh, kind of almost saved us a little bit. It made us, uh, it kind of kept it, you know, it was at 7-7 seven, seven there at the his first dead ball. And, um, but, it, you know, they came out and, and, and just played hard 40 minutes and just a little too timid. And uh, but uh, still got a positive outlook for this group. And um, I think that when we go watch the film and, and uh, get into practice tomorrow, and, and uh, we'll, we'll be a different team on Saturday, that's for sure. Did you see any signs in practice leading up to this game that um, things that maybe like warning signs or things that concerned you? Uh, honestly, no. I mean, I, I, and that's what, you know, to say that I still have a very positive outlook for this group in this season is, uh, is largely because of that. Uh, you know, both closed door scrimmages were were great showings by our group, and uh, and so to kind of come in and be on our heels like this, and and, and just kind of not be the same team, uh, and show the experience that we've that we've had, and or that we have, um, is kind of what's a little surprising, I guess. Um, but that, that, but make no mistake, that's what it's what Southern did. Uh, you know, they came out and they threw haymakers, and they threw haymakers, and uh, they they never let off uh, their foot off the gas, and. And we just kind of, we took a little breather there, and, and, and that's what ended up being the difference. Seemed like their uh, zone press, uh, their zone pressure in the, uh, early in the first half really kind of turned things. What about that was uh, difficult to solve tonight? Yeah, I think we were, we were a little, uh, when we'd catch, we'd catch in great spots. Um, it, and again, it, it just everything I say tonight is going to fall back to just kind of being on our heels. And uh, it, we just didn't seem to have that, that catch and that, that triple threat, that low base and that rip and that it just go, you know, until they stop you and just go through people and get to the rim. And we just didn't quite have that. And, uh, and, and again, it's because of what Southern did. They, they put us on our heels and it, we just kind of couldn't quite get over, over, the, over the top there. Um, but make no mistake, I mean, we will take every look we had in the first half, we'll take again. Um, there's no question about that. But... Uh, again, it, all the compliments in the world to, to Southern. What was the strategy defensively in, um, in guarding the pick and roll? Yeah, so about, uh, you know, oddly enough, uh, we struggled in the, in the scrimmages at guarding the three-point line. And we wanted to make some adjustments, and you know, clearly uh, it was the wrong direction. Honestly, I don't. I don't know much more to say than that. They talked. We asked Ali San Webb uh, about halftime. What was the message at halftime? You guys are down big, obviously, in the first half, and uh, just what was the approach going into the locker room there? Turnovers, turnovers. Um, you know, turnovers and, and, and better closeouts. I mean, we've talked. You know, that was a, that was an emphasis in the last week and a half was uh, taking away the catch and shoot three opportunities and and protecting the ball because again you know moving on from last year to this year our biggest problem offensively was turnovers um, we we feel that again even with this year's group we have enough offensive firepower that if we get shots on the rim uh, we'll be in a good spot uh, on the flip side um, the, the three point we were, we were 280th last year in three point field goal defense and uh, and then I mean we're gonna be dead last obviously after tonight in the country. So um, it's something that we're just going to have to keep, keep working on, keep getting reps at, and keep getting better. But um, again, this is a group, it's an experienced group. These are guys that have, have, have been through the ups and downs of college basketball. So um, we'll, we'll have a better showing on Saturday. It seemed like DJ Thomas played better in the second half. Um, did you feel like you, you needed someone to, you know, just get the offense going or take control of the offense in the first half? Or? Yeah, and, then, and I think we were, we were sped up across the board. We were sped up, um, and and that's what again that's what you have when you when you're timid when you're a little when you're overthinking sometimes we do, we can get a little you can get a little sped up, and uh, that's what I think was our issue in the first half. We were just uh, we weren't just playing. We were thinking too much, and and again it's because it, all the credit goes to Southern for that. And um, but yeah, after halftime you could tell he, he took a breather. You know, kind of I think got his feet underneath him. But um, we only had two turnovers in the second half as a team. And most nights that'll that'll give you a chance to win a ball game, but unfortunately we had dug too big of a hole at that point.
given the the expectations and the the goals coming into the year, how do you, um, with you know, a disappointing loss on opening night, how do you sort of keep the the team together, keep the guys focused on you know with the bigger picture? You know, there still are a lot of games left, and um, how do you sort of keep them together? Just by that, I mean, we don't we don't we're not doing any hero speeches yet. I mean, this isn't something where we need to talk about, well, the guys, there's a lot of games left. We can still do it. This is a group that's been through the ups and downs. I mean, everybody in that locker room has got a night they look back on uh, and, and wish they could do differently or wish they could have back. And uh, so this is, unfortunately, we, we learned our lesson really early here. Um, uh, but make no mistake that we're going to work at it. We're going to get better. And, um, and we're going to have a better outing on Saturday. Coach, like you said, no, no hero ball, no hero talk. But what is your message tonight to the guys and even tomorrow practice to try and move forward past tonight and just put it out of your memory? Uh, this is one of the things you just got to work through it, I think. Uh, you know, obviously tonight is get your rest, get to eat right, um, get, to, get your treatment, get, to get whatever you need because, you know, we have a pretty quick turnaround here in the sense of just two days. There's no off day in between here. And, uh, and we got a big opportunity here on Saturday to, to, to play a game. We had a great crowd, great showing for an opening night in the middle of the week. But uh, again, it's just that this is a team that's been through ups and downs. I mean, and so hopefully we can take a deep, deep breath, watch the film, figure out what we need to do, um, and, and just be a lot more assertive and aggressive on Saturday. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks guys. Yeah, uh, Justin, um, just your thoughts on the, the game. Uh, obviously that's not the tone. Um, we wanted to set, obviously, early on. Um, uh, we played, you know, it's probably the worst game of basketball I think we will ever play. Um, obviously, early on, uh, our shots wasn't falling. Um, you know, they hit a lot of tough shots, and, you know, it was just one of those nights for them. But um, a lot to learn from. I mean, the only good thing that comes from it is the first game of the season. We'd rather this happen now, later on, but um, you know, we're just gonna get back to work tomorrow and get ready for uh, Stetson on Saturday. What was it about the uh, their zone pressure that was um, hard to configure? Uh, I mean, we just took it for granted. Uh, we worked on it. We knew it was gonna, we knew it was coming. But uh, when you know game time came around, we just didn't execute what we needed to do. You know, and, you know, we're gonna take that and. You know, fix it up. So, uh, was there something specifically that they did offensively that gave you guys uh, trouble defensively? They seem to get a lot of layups and dunks. Was there something specifically that they did that was giving you guys issues? No, it's our fault. No, we knew we had the principles. We have them instilled every single day in practice, and we just didn't do it. That's it. Justin, just um, is there a, a sense of disappointment considering the expectations coming into the season? Just to for the first game to go like this. Um, I mean, obviously we're hurt, you know, by the result, but um, you know we can't really let it let it get to us. It's a long season, so um, you know, obviously we're hurt by this loss, but um, we're just going to continue to work. Um, I think you know we we started taking days for granted. Um, you know, we weren't doing the little details in practice, and eventually they caught up to us. So. Um, you know, starting tomorrow, we're going to uh, just revamp everything. We're going to be more detailed in what we do. We're going to listen to the coaches when, um, you know, when it comes to the scout. Um, we're going to lock in, and uh, that starts with me and Ice, and we're going to make sure that that starts, you know, not even tomorrow right now. So, What, what was the message from Kevin both at halftime and after the game? Um, halftime, it was we just dug, we just dug a hole. Um, a hole that, you know, we had to get out of. Um, we understood shots wasn't falling, but we understood they had 40 points in 20 minutes. So, um, you know, we had to do some defensively, um, even though they was hitting a lot of tough shots. But um, after the game, he kind of just told us, you know, um, he didn't really have anything positive to say at the moment, um, you know, trying to figure out what's going to be best for us. But um, from a player standpoint, there's not one loss of confidence. Obviously, we're hurt, but um, it's not one loss of confidence. We're going, I, I know we're going to bounce back. Um, uh, this is a great team. We're still a great team. We're still um, going to prove that. And so uh, come Saturday, um, it should be a, a much different result, for sure. Isaiah, Isaiah it seemed like you were uh, able to be effective uh, in the paint offensively. Was there any concerted effort to go to you um, offensively? Uh, I, mean, I think 
definitely towards the second half, uh, noticing that they're jumping on everything. And uh, they're obviously a smaller team, so I think everybody kind of understood that we're going to get in the paint and start making plays out of that. So, for sure. Uh, Justin, they were 11 of 18 from three. Uh, what can you guys do to kind of improve your perimeter defense going into Saturday? Um, I mean, just continue to work at it. I mean, we had, um, after we played Missouri State, um, we had gave up a lot of catch and shoots, catch and shoots against, against them. And so, um, you know, last, last week or so, um, that's what we really uh, implemented, you know, in practice. And um, obviously we didn't bring that from practice to the court. So um, I'm pretty sure, you know, we're going to get right back to, uh, what we've been practicing uh, tomorrow. And, um, I mean, they hit – I mean, give them credit. They came out and uh, hit a lot of tough shots. Um, obviously, um, especially a team that's like that, that's really, you know, nothing to lose. Um, they're going to play hard and they're – you know, they see one go in. It's like a microwave. So, um, you know, they just hit a lot of shots. But, um, I mean, still just got to listen to what the coaches – the coaches told us. So, still just got to listen to them and uh, implement what they're saying onto the court. For uh, both of you guys, what do you think about the debut of DJ Thomas? Much better second half versus the first half. Um, I mean, DJ still has a lot to learn. Um, I feel like he still had a great debut um, for a freshman. Um, um, he learned He learned early. I mean, college basketball is hard. It's hard to win games in, in, in college, you know, no matter who you play. Um, I tell people all the time, I feel like the skill level is catching up, you know, um, you know, Ten years ago, these would just be blowout games, but now that the skill level's catching up, these are pretty good games. So, um, for him, it's just continuing to learn. He'll be he'll be great. He'll be the DJ Thomas that you all know and know and love, and um, um, he'll only continue to get better. I mean, it's just a big learning lesson. You know, we all go through it. Um, but yeah, he's just gonna learn from it, just like Webb said. Uh, we just, you know, we all we all try to help him every day, and you know, keep his confidence up. And this is a, this is definitely a time to keep his confidence up. So. All right, guys, thank you. Appreciate it.